For a patient with a pituitary tumor, it's necessary to restore normal hormone production, either by using medications or surgical treatment. We spoke with Dr. Sylvia Hoshek of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs to learn about how this condition is treated. The pituitary gland, which is the master gland in our brain, and everybody has one, it's a gland that controls all your different hormones and the activities of your endocrine system, which is the hormonal system. It is located actually in the center of your brain, exactly where my eyes are, if you point about three inches in. The symptoms and presentations of a situation where there's a problem with the pituitary gland uh, usually come, one is headaches. Somebody will come to you and say, well, I have severe headaches, headaches between my eyes. The other presentation is visual difficulties. Because where the gland is, and if you have a tumor there, it starts putting pressure on the optic chiasm, which are the optic nerves. And so a lot of these people notice they, they, they cannot see from the sides, and so they have blind spots, which we call temporal hemianopsias. In other words, it's, the field is reduced. If it goes severely, they can also start getting blind from this if they ignore it. In other words, the vision completely deteriorates. The other way that they present is, again, the hormonal imbalance. Some of these tumors are producing or hypersecreting. In other words, the pituitary tumors can be as tumors where they're putting pressure and compromising the optic nerves, headaches, and the lack of hormone production. So these are called the non-secreting tumors. You also have a group which are called the hypersecreting tumors. Usually these are smaller tumors within the pituitary. One of them is for Cushing's disease. In other words, you have the Cushing syndrome. They are producing high levels of adrenal corticoids and so the patient comes all swollen and bloated and hunchbacked and basically hypertension, diabetes, all the things that come with the high hormones of, of the adrenals. Usually we go to a CAT scan, a CT scan, a computerized axial tomogram, which is a slicing you know, through the bone with contrast because that will light up the tumor. And finally, we come up and finish out the diagnosis before we consider any kind of treatment is, of course, the gold standard now, which is the magnetic resonance imaging, MRI scan, with contrast, without contrast. If they're coming with minimal symptoms and they're just having the lactation, you can do nothing or you can do surgery and something in between. There is medication which will block this, and that's called Parladel. Uh, so this is a medication that you give the, the people and it basically suppresses the prolactin and the people begin, the, especially the females, are able to now ovulate and go ahead and go on with their lives. When you have the mass effect or the pressure of the growth of the tumor, in other words now the tumor is the size of a quarter like we mentioned and is putting pressure, then we deal with surgery. And so the surgery, there are several options of how to proceed with surgery.